Okay, so first of all, I'm going to insert four blank columns. And then in the first column, I'm going to put in 5%. And I'll drag that down to fill in all of the other rows. Then I'll copy this and I'll paste it into the last column as well. So all of that is 5% as well. Then in this column, I'm going to take the actual percentage and subtract 5% and enter. And then I'll double click to send that down. Then in the last column, I'm going to do 1 minus the actual percentage and then minus an extra 5%. And then enter and double click to send that down. Then I'll select all of this except for the last column. And I'll go to insert and I'll insert a 2D stacked bar chart. And I'll resize this chart. Then I'll delete the parts that I don't want. So I'll get rid of the legend and the horizontal axes and the grid lines and the chart title. Then I'll go to insert and illustrations and shapes. And I will select one of the flowchart shapes, which is called flowchart delay. And it's kind of like half a rectangle and half a circle. And then I will hold down shift while I click and drag to draw this shape. Then I'll go to shape outline and say no outline. Then I'll go to shape fill and I'll change it to a light gray. Then while I still have this shape selected, I'll press Control C to copy this and put it onto the clipboard. Then I'll select the 5% bars at the very end and I will Control V to paste. And now these bars have a rounded end. Then I'll select the shape and I'll hold down Shift while I rotate this until it is the other way around. Then I'll go to Shape Format and I'll change the shape fill to a dark purple. Then while the shape is selected, I'll press Control C to copy. Then I'll select the 5% bars at the other end and Control V to paste. And now these bars have a rounded end as well. Now I'll double click on the chart to open up the formatting pane. And I'll select these bars here and I'll change the border to no line and I will change the fill so that it is a dark purple. Then I'll select the other bars and I'll change the border to no line and this time I'll change the fill to a light gray. Now I have the colors set up the way that I want them. I'll change the bars so that they are thicker. So I'll decrease the gap width to 80%. And you can also control how rounded the ends are by increasing or decreasing this percentage here. So if I change it to 7%, you can see that they become more rounded. Then I also want to add in some data labels. So I'll select this bar here and I will add in data labels. And I'll select the labels and I'll change them to show the category name and then remove the value and the leader lines and then change them to inside base. Then we'll change this text so we can actually read it. So I'll change it to white and make it bold and also make the font size bigger. Now you might have noticed that the order in the chart is the opposite way round to the order in the table. And if you want to fix this, you can select the axes and go to axes options and then tick the box for categories in reverse order. And now the order in the chart is the same as it is in the table. Now I'll delete the axes and I want to add in some more data labels. So I'll select these bars here and I will add in data labels. Then select the labels and change it to value from cells. And then select the actual percentages here and OK. Then I'll remove the value and the leader lines and change it to inside base. 
Then we'll change the text. So I'll change the font color to a dark purple and make it bold and make the font size bigger. Then the final thing I want to do is remove the border around the outside of the chart. So I'll select this and change it to no line. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a more interesting looking bar chart in Excel. And that is everything.